work in this field. We are aware of the worrying situation re related to synthetic opioids in North America. More than 20 years ago, we also lived a crisis created by heroin with the high number of overdose deaths and the increasing HIV infections. Back then, Portugal took the decision to decriminalize the use of old drugs and scaled up health and social responses. This step was innovative and pioneer and obvious in a certain sense. It was a decision based on pragmatism, human rights and common sense. By decriminalizing used drug, we were able to channel police and judicial resources to respond to trafficking. And we were able to better link people who use drugs to support services, allowing us to keep our citizens, our friends and family members alive, less sick, more integrated, and more capable of taking decisions. Years later, we have visible results, less high-risk drug use, fewer deaths, fewer new HIV infections, and also very important, less stigma and more empathy towards people who use drugs. Despite the good results, we are currently making changes to better respond to new challenges, namely more diversity of drugs, more diverse, diversity of people who use drugs, few tools to treat stimulants and increasing presence of new psychoactive drugs with less common, less known effects. Together, between countries and with knowledge of professionals and civil society, I'm convinced that we will be able to identify new, obvious, pragmatic, evidence-based and humanistic solutions. Thank you for inviting us to be here today, and we are totally available to collaborate with Global Coalition.